Hey y'all, um, welcome to Shades too. Thank you for tuning in. I know some people are not in my chat. That's cool, because I'm still doing a live video to show you guys what I got at Dollar Tree, Burlington, Target, Michaels, and I don't know what else, okay? I, I When I get to the stuff, guys, I'm going to show you, okay? So yeah, this is my jam right here. Y'all know that already. I hope you guys are having a good weekend. Happy Saturday. Hope your week was great. Don't forget the thumbs up to like and subscribe okay this is the first time i ever did a live um live dollar tree haul in a long long time i cannot believe this because i usually you know do pre-recorded um videos we're gonna start in one minute y'all wait a minute i just need to do something real quick let me get this up here oh it's already on there okay so yeah let me hide that let me open up the chat in case somebody come in let me put this on here let me just do this. I, I be typing in capital all the time. Okay, so we're gonna get ready to start. Um, whoever's in the chat or wherever the bushes, hey, how y'all doing? Let me tell y'all right now, this is not about no bull crap, okay? I'm not engaging it in that anymore. So therefore, this channel would go back to what it normally is. And also my regular lives, which are on Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays, we'll be talking about different fun and not so fun topics okay so stay tuned to that i got to figure out what time i want to do them because i'm always busy and this is why i did this live haul this weekend because i didn't get a chance to um you know we uh pre-record one so let's go ahead and get started i gotta turn this camera on turn that off but before i start let me just say um let me do this happy born day to my daughter chloe yesterday was her born day and she just turned 19 y'all yay also, um, thank you to all my new subbies and all my subbies that's been with me from day one. I appreciate every one of you guys. And just thank you for, you know, being patient, being with me through all this stuff that I was engaged in for the last four weeks. It's over now. So we're back to business. All right. So let's go ahead and start off with this haul. Let me get my stuff out the camera because you know I ain't never ready. So let's go ahead and start off with that. And it doesn't mind if no one is in this um, chat either because I'm still going to do it. To get my Dollar Tree haul out real quick today all right so let me start this camera and move out the way and we're going to start okay so guys i'm going to let me make sure i'm not in this camera no let me blend down do all this to make sure because i don't want to be in it because i'm not even dressed so i'm gonna start off with dollar tree guys i cannot even do the dt stuff because i'm so there going horse it's ridiculous and i'm not even gonna try so the first thing i want to show y'all guys are these um nice little gloves that i actually got i really got these black ones for my son to wear to use this um what you call a thing? His phone. I'm gonna be nervous here today, y'all. So bear with me. It's different when you're doing a live and you're arguing with someone versus when you're doing a live and you actually talk about something for real, for real. I mean, other stuff was for real too, but when I'm doing my hauls, I always get nervous. And you probably won't even see me on video video ever doing my hauls because I'll definitely mess up. But anyway, <laughs> I got these from so bear with me. I got these for my um, son just to wear when he was on his um, cell phone because he had cracked the cell phone. But I got a, a cover until we go get it fixed. So, you know, those cell phones, they charge like 150 just to fix them. So, yeah, I got these from Dollar Tree, y'all. Let me make sure I stand the camera correctly. All right. Then at Dollar Tree, I was amazed to find these little paper towels again where they have two in the pack. And you can't beat these because they are $1.25 and um, you can get two. The only thing is that they're kind of thin. So if you have major spills and stuff like that, you want you just want to get a different type of um, paper towels, which you can find at Target. Or Target got a real good deal on their, on their um, brand of paper towels, okay? But if you don't want to go to Target or you want extra paper towels, like these are my extra ones, I'll pick up some at Dollar Tree. And there are two in here, like I just said, for only $1.25. You can't beat that. And I'm going to just throw it over there because it'll be in my way if I don't. And then I'm trying not to be on this camera because Lord knows I am not ready. Okay. And I'm rushing too because I got to get out of here. So at, um, I picked up some more fabric booster. This is some good stuff. If you don't want to go to the regular store and pay $10 for any booster, you can get it at Dollar Tree for only $1.25. It's by, uh, let's see, it's by, I don't know who it's by. But anyway, this is what it looked like just in case. Okay. So there you go. Put that down here. Then I picked up just a small tie, Simply Clean, even though I have the pots. Like I said, I always like to buy extra stuff and backups just in case I run out of the um, gel pots that I get from the regular store. So I'll usually pick up one of these to use. 
And sometimes I get the sensitive one because I'm allergic to everything, but I just picked that up today because, I mean, because sometimes they don't have stuff. And then if you have like a Swifter, guys, a study spending a lot of money on a Swifter um, cleaning pad refills, you get them at Dollar Tree. These does stick on your um, Swifter, and they do work pretty good. And there are three in this pack. They are by what you see on the screen, Scrub Buddies, okay? And they do work good. I don't show nothing that I don't use, okay? And that does not work good. Now, I picked up some of this, which I should have cleaned it off. And again, I buy name brand washing um, liquid, I mean, laundry detergent. But at times, I'll get this for backup just in case I um, run out or I can use these on my rugs, okay? And this does work good on rugs. You can use them on your clothes, too, if you want, because basically all laundry detergent, when you read the ingredients, they basically have the same thing. A lot of people don't read anything. They just... Go spend all their money on all these products. It'll be the same thing with the nasty, same tripped out chemi chemicals in it, doing stuff that you don't even imagine. So I try to get, uh, when I buy regular um, laundry detergent, I try to get the free and clear and all this other stuff. But from time to time, I'll pick up just the regular ones, you know. Then I picked up some more hand sanitizer. I always use, get extra of these to go in my car. Y'all can tell I'm nervous. Sorry about this. Okay, so I always get these to go in my car. You know, because you need to keep your hands sanitized, point blank. You don't want to be catching stuff. And that does work pretty good. Then I picked up this right here, guys, is a race to money. But anytime I don't feel like going to Wally World or Target, I'll just pick up this at Dollar Tree. It's the regular brand. There's two in here for a dollar. They used to do four, then they took it down to just two because, you know, they'd be tripping out at these stores, especially since the CD stuff. Then I got two of these, well, one of the Scotch Transparent Tape from Dollar Tree. The Scotch regular brand, you get two in here for a dollar twenty-five. Why go to another store and buy the same thing and pay more? That's silly. That's why y'all be broke. Okay, I'm <laughs> just playing. But for real, that's why y'all be broke. Okay, that's why y'all be broke because y'all be like, I ain't going to no Dollar Tree. You better go there because some things you can get at Dollar Tree. I'm not saying about that off-brand stuff, but some and make sure it's the you know the true brand. You can look at the symbols and stuff like that on the back. But go to Dollar Tree and get some things because I'm telling you, if you do that, you'll save money and you'll see. I mean, if it's a small quantity, of course, you don't want to buy it. But if it's just a nice quantity and it's the same product, you may want to get it at Dollar Tree. Okay, so then I picked up these little calendars. I picked this one up next year. This is to go in my bedroom. And this is what it looked like on the back. These are the pictures for each month. And I love animals, especially that right there, the wolf. And I want, I, I wish I could have one, like a black, um, this is a leopard. Yeah, I love those. Okay, I don't want to be around it, but I like those. And then I got this calendar right here, guys. Let me make sure I'm over here. This is a um, large print wall or either. I'm probably going to use it on my desk. I don't know for sure yet. There's a lot of stuff I need to clean up in here and get rid of. So, yeah, the back of this is just basically like this. And I just got this because when I'm looking at that calendar from a long distance, I want to see it. Okay, I want to be able to see it from a far distance. So I picked up some of these cute... Now, this is super cute, guys. Look at this. At Dollar Tree. When I went to Hobby Lobby and looked at this in Michael's and stores like that, it was way more. So when I saw this at Dollar Tree yesterday, I picked it up. I was like, this is definitely a steal. Super cute. They got all the colors of people because in the real world, the real world does consist of more than one race of people. So, yeah, this is super cute. Then I got this one right here because I just like the furry type that it is, you know. So, yeah, they got some cute Christmas decor. So, you may want to go there, pick up some stockings, stuff like that. There's another sanitizer that I picked up. This one is in the Pomegranate Granite and Vanilla. The other one was Pomegranate. Here I go. Pomegranate Granite in another um, scent. Okay. But it's a good steal. If you got it at your Dollar Tree, go get it. Then I got like four of these guys because, you know, I got a cat and you got to keep that lint off your furniture. I hate when I go over people's house, right? And cat here and it smell like an animal in their place. So I make sure I keep myself, not myself, my place clean. And also you can use this on your own clothing. It's a good lint remover. And it's by Essential Essentials. So yeah. Okay. All right. And then I picked up some of this good and sense, no, good and clean disinfectant wipes. These are 25% more wipes. There are 30 in here compared to the 24 they used to have in there. And yes, this does kill, um, it says it right there. You see it on there, so I'm not going to say it, but CV19 and other bacteria and viruses, okay? So yeah, 
So when you want to pick some disinfectant wipes up, you don't want to spend five or six dollars, you can just get it at Dollar Tree for dollar twenty-five. And like I said, there are 30 wipes in there. Put this right here because I do not want to be in this camera. Okay, let me look and see what else I got at Dollar Tree, guys. And then I'm going to switch to another store. So this is something else I picked up at Dollar Tree. I think, no, actually I got these at Walmart, so I'm not going to show these yet. But I did, let me show you this. Now, I love it when I see these little cheap little rugs at Dollar Tree because I don't use them on my actual floor or anything, but I do use these little rugs outside on my patio, okay, at the doorway there just for decorations, okay? And so I got two of these. They are the same exact ones, and these are going on my patio because I'm not going to spend a lot of money on stuff like this that once the holiday is over, it's just, you know, gone. And so I just get this little cheaper stuff for the um, holidays from Dollar Tree, just like, you know, when I want to put it on my patio. Then I also, no, this came from Walmart. I also got some more Q-tips. Now, mind you, I don't use these Q-tips to go in my ear. I clean the inter outside of my ear. Now, if you want to dig inside of your ear, you need to get a um, Q-tip with more cotton on it. Now, you know you don't really supposed to be digging inside your ear with a Q-tip because it actually pushes the wax further into your ear canal. However, I know some of us sometimes use a Q-tip. So if you use a cotton swab, even if you get it at Dollar Tree, make sure you get the ones that have thicker um cotton on it i wanted these because i don't use that for that i use this for um putting my eye makeup on and, and like medications or something on me okay so there are 300 of these because i got actually i got two types i got the ones that thicker cotton and i'll use that if i wanted to go inside my ear even though you're not supposed to go to do that so next i got some of these good and sense drawstring um kitchen bags there are six in here they used to do seven or ten but then they decreased it now but still i buy these because we go through trash bags like what and then I also got the regular Glade or Glad bags in my closet, back in um, my um, pantry in my kitchen. But these right here I use every day because they go through bags like they are crazy. So if you buy any trash bags from Dollar Tree, for me, I think this is a thumbs up and it's a good product. Okay, let me make sure I'm in the camera. Okay, so something else that I bought at Dollar Tree, which go, is going outside, and I think it actually matches that rug. This is going on my patio on my little tables out there. And what I usually do is cut this in half and put them on each one of my tables for each season, you know, like for Christmas, fall time, maybe Easter and stuff like that if I decorate. And so this is $1.25. It's plastic. And this is a good steal. Why should I spend a bunch of money on a, a tablecloth on the patio where it can get dusty? So I always do this. All right. And they got some cute ones, too. So something else I got, which is super cute at Dollar Tree. It's this right here. I just had to pick this up because I love these little cute gnomes. Simply adorable for only $1.25 and they come in different colors and everything. So I like this. You know, when I say color, they come in red and things like that. Okay. I need to just throw this down because I do not want to get a camera. Okay. Okay, y'all. Then I think I picked these up at Dollar Tree. Some wall art. Some of this stuff, guys, I probably won't even be using this year like I did with the, um, the awesome stuff. But anyway, I probably will on my door. I don't know for sure. These are super cute. They do stick. So if you see any wall art at Dollar Tree, there's one here. You can pick it up because they do stick on the wall. And if you take them down correctly, they won't pull off the paint. All right. And they look like my camera's kind of greasy. I'm about to see. Then I picked up some of these cheap earbuds for my son because all he does is destroy, destroy, destroy. Now, he's doing good with the beats. But, you know, usually I bought him some gaming um, headphones, $200 last year. He tore them up. Then I sent them back and got him another pair. The same thing happened. So I was like, you got to buy your own gaming headphones. So when we went to, um, what was it, Phase Rug, little um, thing, he ended up getting some beats for, I think they were, well, I think Phase Rug was giving them out, giving out a pair or so, and he was one of the people who got it. And so he's happy. He's actually been taking care of those beats. Okay, but anyway. I'm not buying him any more expensive headphones, earbuds, or anything. He can buy them himself. He get money every week. And so when he does not do what he needs to do with his money or whatever the case is, I usually buy these for backup. And this is what I give him, these little cheap earbuds, because I'm not ever buying him any more earbuds again, because all he does is destroy. And these work pretty good for kids. And even for you, if you just want to you know, talk on the phone at nighttime or whatever. I mean, I wouldn't recommend those if you want to listen to music or if you're doing a haul or any type of stuff on YouTube or anything. Okay. Then I got these little um, wet sweeper cloth refills because um, I don't ever use a, a mop in my bathroom. I actually just use one of these and just wipe the floor. My ass is in shape. I'd be just wiping. I stoop down all the way down to the floor, which you should be doing. And I just wipe it off. 
And not saying you need to be doing this in the bathroom like I do because I'm just a clean fanatic. What I'm saying, you need to be squatting down doing exercise. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. <laughs> and there are um, eight of these in this pack. Okay. So these work good. I love these. Matter of fact, let me throw them in my bathroom because I may need to use one. Okay. Then I picked up this little um, aluminum foil at Dollar Tree. I also bought a little regular um, aluminum foil at Walmart. But I also keep this as a backup. It's always good to have a stock pile of things. You never know what's going to happen. That includes food, emergency stuff, pills, or whatever. Okay? And so I do that with everything. Okay? I mean, everything. And so I'll pick up the refill right here at Dollar Tree. This is some decent Lumina 4. No, it's not Reynolds Wrap, but it's the next best thing to it. So you may want to check this out. And like I just told you guys, I don't show nothing that I don't use. If it does not work good, I don't show it. Then y'all, y'all can say what y'all want. Because I'm still walking around here with a mask on. I don't give a you know what. Uh, we still wear a mask. I mean, I don't wear it every single place I go. I don't have it up, but I still wear one. And I'm going to continue wearing one and then, until they get all this stuff back to normal. Because you know what? I have never caught CB19. Neither has these people here. And we have been doing absolutely great and being blessed. Okay, so I picked these up in black. Five. I don't use these because I'm allergic to it every day. I don't think I use cloth masks because I'm allergic to everything, but they use these. And I usually keep these for backups. So I got like three packs of these because you just never know. You know, I do not trust these people out here. Okay. And let me see what else I got from Dollar Tree, guys. to show you because I hate when I miss stuff and then I'll be going back showing you that. But in case I do, um, y'all just better bear with me. But one more thing I do want to show you from Dollar Tree is this right here. Now, I know y'all gonna be like, what? Yeah. And my, my um, Richie, Richie kids don't like, you know, this water, I don't care because I buy it for myself to take in my car. You get six waters for $1.25. And who is this? This is um Pure Life, which they sell in Target and everywhere else. Okay. So I'm not gonna spend um five dollars for this when I can get it for a dollar. I mean for a dollar. So point blank. All right. Y'all can tell that I'd be nervous. So excuse these little bloopers I'm doing. I told y'all before when I get on live and I'm doing stuff like singing for real. Or if I'm doing like actual stuff like hauls and stuff, I'll get um, camera shy, whatever you call it. Do the same thing on stage. Okay, I'm still trying to get through all that stuff. I don't know why I do that. That's why I could never be an actress because I would do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Be messing up the shit. Even when I used to sing, I'd be messing up the stuff. It sounds a hot mess. So that's why I got an entire um, singing group and put like four or five. Yeah, let's like, see. It was like four of us in the group because that was the only way I can get on stage by myself. Okay, but yeah. When I don't know why when I do this stuff, I get nervous. When yet when I was online doing the most, <laughs> let me stop. I wasn't nervous. It's tripped out, you know. But anyway, I guess because it's really my first time doing hauls and stuff in a long time live. I did maybe one or two hauls and I was nervous on there too. And I actually was in the camera, but you know, I still I'm still doing okay. All right, so let me go ahead and finish showing you. This right here is from Walmart, guys. Like I said, I would I always go to a lot of stores. At Walmart, I picked up these window cleans because I like putting these in my windows. Not too many now. I mean, come on now. These are super cute for the holidays. I wish they would learn how to get different colors, though, of Santa Claus. Then I got these known ones. These are 98 cents a piece, okay? And they do stick on your window like they're supposed to, okay? They are cleans, all right? Then I picked up these snowflakes, and I actually got this at Dollar Tree. These are cute, and I don't know. I may put these on my other window, and I may put these other ones on my window when I take this autumn and Thanksgiving stuff down. So I got two of those guys. There's a lot of stuff I got to pick up and then be getting ready to get out of here. Then um, I think I got these window cleans in this and this from Target. Let me show y'all these. Okay, so these right here, these are going in my bathroom. Because let me tell y'all again, you can see a lot of stuff, but I don't use all this stuff, okay? I'll pick out what I want to use and make it cute. You know, make it cute because I don't want to put too much stuff up. So I got two of these. I think these were like, um, yeah, a dollar, a dollar piece at Target. I believe these came from Target, okay? And then this right here I got from Target. This was on a dollar. You know those dollar bins, the five dollar bin? Well, I got this there because like I said, some things um, I like to add new and then some things I'll use from last year. So these will go um, be new on my counter. You know, the breakfast bar thing, I put that there and these were a dollar a piece. Then I picked up this little cute um, ornament from Target. I think this was $3. Why did they have to make him so dark? I don't know. But anyway, he's cute still. I'm going to put it back like that because you can see his face. He's $3. Okay. 
Then, um, let's see. At Burlington Eyes, I picked up. I think I got this at Burlington, if I'm not mistaken. This was $12.99. He's so cute. Look at him. The nut count cracker. Let me think. I did not get this at Burlington. I actually got this at Michael's. Yep, he is so cute. And he was $12.99. Then I picked up um, three of these candles at, I think these came from Michael's. Three candles for $10. You can't beat that. And these smell absolutely great. This right here is the peppermint bark. And then I got two other um, scents. But these do um, smell pretty good. And they have a, a good, what do you call that? A good, I can't even remember, y'all. I can't remember. But anyway, the fragrance also um, illuminates the entire area. Okay, it really smells good. These are at Michael's. You get three for just $9.99. Can't beat that. Oh, the burn. The burn is clean. That's what I was meaning to say. The burn. You know, like some candles you get, they smell like you get, you put something, something is on fire. These doesn't smell like that. You actually smell the scent. Okay. So you, if you got a Michaels in your area, you want to go there and get those candles. They got all different types of these scents. Okay. Um, so I think that was, you know, I got at Michaels. Then I went to um, Burlington, right? And I picked up this. This is super cute, isn't it? Yes, man. Yes, it is. $3.99. He is adorable, okay? Mm. And I picked up, oh my God, I'm about to fall down, y'all. Look at him. Ow! Y'all gonna see me on live sometime with this and put some hot chocolate in it. Not too much hot chocolate, though, but, you know, this is cute. And he was, how much is he? I know this don't say no $9.99. Let me see. I know good and damn well I didn't pay $9.99 for this. That's exactly how much it costs, $10. If I would have known, y'all, it would have went back right back, okay? They got me on that one, Burlington. And then I picked these up for $7.99 to hang up. They match, they match the actual, um, you know, thing. Let me go back So I need to clean my camera. I'm going to have to clean that in a minute. All right? And you see you get four of those mugs. Let me wipe this camera off real good. Real quick, y'all. Because when I be touching my greasy, oily hands over this um, camera, it'll make it greasy. So there you go. Sorry about that noise, okay? Okay, let's see what else. Where did I get this from? Okay, so this is another bag that I got from Burlington. Y'all look. Be having a bunch of stuff. No, I be shopping. Y'all should see the clothes I bought. I'm not showing you guys that because then I'm going to have to try them on. And I don't really do those type of um, shows. You'll see that when I be doing those walkthroughs, and I have I'll put those outfits on and show y'all. Then I picked this up, y'all, from Burlington. Super, super cute little throw for your um to go on your couch or your bed or wherever you want to put it. At. And this right here was nineteen ninety. No, this was fifteen dollars. This is super cute. They got all, all types of these throws at Michael, not Michaels at Burlington. And I wanted these because, you know, my living room is blue and I can incorporate lighter blue. I can incorporate lighter blue, um, you know, just to make it look better. So that's a good steal. Excuse my voice. Y'all know I'm hoarse. It goes in and out. So I'm trying to talk louder so you can hear me. And then I picked this up to you guys to put on my wine things, my fake wine bottles that I got that little, um, you know, that wine they put out. It's not really wine, that grape juice they put out that look like wine. So I got this to put on there. This is super cute. <laughs> yeah, I picked this up. I think I got this at Burlington too. I think so. Yeah, it's a bo uh, wine bottle sweater, which is cute. It's for my fake wine. And this, I think was, you know, I think it was like $5.99, something like that. I'm, I don't remember. And then at Kohl's, I told y'all I'd be everywhere. At Kohl's, y'all, I picked up these cute hand towels. But y'all know what? I'm not using this in the bathroom. I'm using this in my kitchen. And I just thought it was so adorable with the Santa. And these are $10 a piece. So yeah, at Kohl's. I told y'all I'd be everywhere. Everywhere. I don't just be at no Dollar Tree and stuff. But a lot of people like seeing Dollar Tree hauls. So therefore, I can start off with Dollar Tree and then show you other stuff from other stores as well. 
Okay, so that's good. Ten dollars a piece. Okay, at at Kohl's. I want to show you. I got this little thing right here. Red is one of my favorite colors. Okay, just so you know, and that's why I got this. Um, it's just a little container. Okay, and this is three dollars at Burlington. Okay, just a little bold. It was super cute. And my thing, one of my favorite colors. And at Big Lash, y'all. I picked this up, just some more candles. I picked up, Big Loss had sales, a sale on um, candles, and they were half off. So the normal price is $7. I got these for $3.50. I picked up two of these candles, two or three. I think I picked up three. And this smells so good. I wish you could smell it. And this is the, I don't know what scent this is, Warm Pumpkin Spice. So this Warm Pumpkin Spice smells really good. So if you see this at your Big Lot, go ahead and pick them up because Big Lots do have a sale, y'all. Again, all their autumn stuff is half off. And when it comes to candles, you can do autumn if you want to because it's still autumn anyway. And so it's just a really good steal when you can find these for half off and they'd be good candles with good throws and um, good burns, okay? Clean burns. And they last a long time. Can't beat that. And then I bought this rug right here. This is not for Christmas or anything. It's just a rug that I'm going to use when these holidays are over. And once again, it was on sale because this is a fall item, but no one knows it. Okay. And it was half off. So I picked it up. And this was, it's normally $12. And I got it for six. Okay. And I think these are the final three items, if I'm not mistaken. Let me make sure because I always do this. I'll be showing stuff, y'all, and then I'll be missing stuff. So let me make sure I didn't miss anything. So I got this, I believe, at y'all. I'll be shopping so many places, I don't even remember. I think this actually came from um, I don't know, y'all. Okay, I don't know why I got this from either. It came from Burlington. I know it didn't come from Walmart, either Burlington. Or either, um, I don't think it came from Target. So these had, had to come from Burlington. And so I got these. Because again, my kitchen and everything is um, light blue and blue and dark blue. And, I, and then during the holidays, I'll change some of that blue out and incorporate whatever color according to the season it is. So I picked these up to put in my little, you know, the decorative um, spoon, you know, utensil holder. So I think those were, I don't even know how much these were, like 3 or $4 or $5 a piece, the spatulas. I would never use those. That's for decor. And then at Walmart, y'all, I picked up some of these batteries. I don't know how good they work. Okay, I just saw that there were eight packs alkaline at Walmart for a good steal, like three fifty. So I decided to, to um, just pick them up to see because again, these grown people in here and that one little teenage boy, they be going through my batteries like something ain't wrong. I mean, something is wrong. So what I do is put these out for them to use. And I put my other batteries, I hide them. You just got to do that because they but get money. The other one works and they won't buy stuff. And you got to teach them responsibilities. That's what's wrong with these parents today. They don't teach some, some of these parents. They don't teach their kids responsibilities. And then when they get out in the real world, they don't know what to do. They get bad credit. They don't pay their bills. They don't know how to buy stuff. They be doing the most. So I be trying to teach my kids to do the right things so they can follow the steps, um, the steps of their older siblings, okay? So yeah, there's eight in here. Is it eight or ten? No, it's ten. yeah, eight. And they claim these batteries. I know these batteries don't last last no 10 years, but they claim they do. They always be claiming batteries last all these years. Now some of them last for a long time, but I have never seen batteries that last for eight, ten, not even five. Okay. So I don't know why they put that on there. Maybe they saying you can keep these for 10 years and even 10 years down the line, down the road, you can go ahead and put these and use them. I guess that's what they mean, because I know these don't last for 10 years, okay. And then the final product, guys, that I want to show you guys is this little cute little thing here I got at Target. Y'all know I love plants. And um, I wish I could get live plants in here, but I can't because of my cat. But you know what, y'all? She even messes with the artificial ones. Very strange. Very strange. Okay? So, yeah. This was, uh, let's see. This item right here was $4.99. They got different size. They got different plants. Okay? And... They got larger um, vase and um, they got a, a, even extra large ones. So go to your Target, 
Tarjay, if you can see, you can find these, okay? Along with some other exciting items. All right? So, yeah, that is it for that haul, guys. I hope you like what you saw. And if you've seen anything that you like, make sure you go to your store and pick it up. In the comments section, guys, let me just tell everybody hi. Hey, Lisa Halls, how you doing? Hey, um, The Real Deal, Anita Gill reaction channel and everybody else that's in the bushes. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is my first time, like I said, doing this and everything. Let me go ahead and put this back on. So yeah, y'all got this beer with me. Uh, 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 uh. Let me do a happy birthday thing for my daughter. She probably won't watch this job. She don't want to watch. You Like I said, some people just want to watch a lot of foolishness on YouTube. As long as you argue and fight on YouTube, everybody in the world will watch. But when, or if you talk about somebody or talk about some stuff you shouldn't be, they're going to watch. But if you talk about certain things, it's just, you know, it's harder to get people to watch it. But normally I, I do not do lives for my um, hauls. They are usually pre-recorded. And I'm going to go back to that. I just didn't have time this past weekend, so I decided to do this live. When you see a live, guys, it would be a live talking about different topics. And then I'll have people on my, on my panel and stuff like that where I'm more you know, comfortable when I'm talking about different um, topics versus doing these lives and everything. This is just like emergency type thing because I do have to go and I didn't have a chance to um, do the video one. And I like to stay on time because you already know every other week I do hauls and then the other week I'll do walkthroughs. I like to keep everything in order because I'm a very organized person. Let me see if I can do this happy birthday song. Nope, 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 nope. I forgot about something. You can't because copyright. But anyway... I can do the song that I like. Getting sucked in by high. I hate these dang on ads. So anyway, guys, don't forget to thumbs up this video. Uh, I was trying to think, is there anything else I need to talk about before I leave? Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment. Tell me what did you like in this haul? I was thinking about doing a giveaway. I don't know for sure yet, but that would be in a pre-recorded video because I do have a lot of stuff, brand new stuff, not no used stuff that I can give away. And I also um, may do a gift certificate in that um, giveaway. Let me just, just turn this down, y'all, so I can get this damn ad off of here. These people, these people with all these ads, I hate all these ads. <laughs> here they go with another ad. You cannot, I'm gonna have to pay for ad free. And then again, I don't, cause I'm not keep on giving YouTube all this money and Google and all these other people. You'll stay broke paying all this stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna do it on here. Let me find a song that I like. This is free non copyright music when you won't get a copyright claim. I never get a strike, but let me see if it's this. Not this, I need something else. I'm about to end up playing my same song. I don't know what this stuff is. But anyway, I'm gonna play this in the background because I. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. Happy born day to my daughter, Angie. I wish I could add the little balloons on here. I got to find out how to do all that, guys. But I bet y'all find out. You see how I put my love. This is really not my logo. Shades Tube is back again. I'm going to actually get a logo done professionally by one of my friends. And then I'm going to put it up in the corner. I'm going to have this hooked up, y'all. And then I'm going to get a little, um, I got backdrops. I just don't ever put nothing up, okay? But I'm going to get something cute to put up there if I ever, for my regular lives. It's probably going to be look, uh, I don't know what I'm going to get, but I'm going to have it hooked up. But yeah, StreamYard is simpler to use versus StreamLabs. But I use both, okay? So StreamLabs is good. It's real good, but it's more complicated. StreamYard itself is less complicated, and it's good too. But one thing that I do like about StreamLabs is StreamLabs, um, I think it does a... Um, a clearer volume, you know, a clearer, when you talk on it, it's more clear. Now, one thing I know about stream yards is that I don't see too much um, buffering with stream yard, but they both are good. They both get a thumbs up and I love them. And when I run out of hours on this, however they do stream yard, then I'll do stream labs. That's how I'm going to do. But anyway, like I said, if, whatever you see that you like, put it down in the comment section, go out to your Michael's, Big Lot, Tarjay, definitely Dollar Tree. Um, go to at home store too, because that's a good place to go to too. And um, Michaels, because Michaels definitely got a good deal on those dead on um, candles. 
And then Big Lots have a sale, you know, the autumn sale. Hobby Lobby, y'all, get to Hobby Lobby because Hobby Lobby also has a sale there, okay? And my next video will come up. My next haul, well, not next haul, but my next video, the next Saturday, will be a walkthrough. I don't know what store I'm going to yet, but it'll be a nice little walkthrough. And then this week, guys, if you like to tune into one of my lives, you can, where I will be, um, I don't know. I think I'm going to talk about why do some men and women cheat? That's what my next topic will be. But if it, if it changes, I'll let you guys know. And I think that um, live will be on Monday. Uh, I don't know the time yet. I'll put that in my community, but it will probably be around either early in the morning or either at six o'clock in the evening Pacific Standard Time. OK, so otherwise, guys, I think I covered everything. Don't forget the thumbs up, though. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, y'all. Hey, 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 hey. Push it. Push it now. OK, y'all. Yeah. Don't forget to comment and to definitely subscribe. OK, and thank you for tuning in to Shay's Tube. I can't say all the stuff I normally say because I'm hoarse. So thank you for tuning in. I'm about to head, head out of here. Oh, y'all, let me tell y'all about this movie real quick. The other Yesterday, last night, I went to the movies, right? Let me turn this down a little bit. Let's see. I went to see um that movie called The Menu. Y'all, go see that movie. It's a trip. Okay? It's a trip. I was like, when I was watching the movie, I was like, what the heck? Um, It was just very bizarre. <laughs> but good. Very strange. I came out the movie with, and I was like, this movie is very strange, okay? Very. Because it, it kind of reminds me of Saw somewhat, but it was a, a little strange, a little bizarre. Because these people went to this exclusive, um, you know, uppity restaurant on an island. And some of them, I think they were food critics, and some people were just plainly rich. And child, some things unraveled. It was a daggone mess, okay? So if it's in your theaters, I'm just telling y'all to go see the menu. And then let me tell y'all something. This dude that I got his food yesterday, he's on, um, let me turn the camera off real quick, guys. I'm going to tell y'all where he's from so y'all can go look at his YouTube. Um, y'all can look at his YouTube channel, right? Oh, let me see. I think he's on, I think he's on YouTube or either, um, wait a minute. Nah, nah, nah. Either he is on YouTube or Twitter or Instagram. I think it's um, Instagram, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's on Instagram where I follow him at. He may be on Facebook too, y'all. But look, this dude right here, put his thing up here. I told him I was going to do this. He has some good food, y'all. It's called Battered Up. And he owns this place and everything. And like I said, he's on Instagram, social media. If y'all got, it, if y'all ever come to Southern California, and y'all come in my area, at this mall over here, I wish I could tell you, but even if you can't, even if you can order this food online, however you can get it, get it. And if you are in my area, if somebody in my area see this, and y'all know what mall I'm talking about, go in there and try this dang on guys' food out. He made some daggone good Oreo fried Oreos, and I had never tasted that in my life. My son actually got it, and I, I had to steal one of his because he didn't want to give me one. And child, let me tell you something. Those were good. Okay, I mean, I wouldn't eat them every day because of the grease, but when you want to give yourself a treat, those are really, really good. Okay, and then I had got, I got like um, some chicken. I got buffalo wings and i told him exactly how i wanted it i wanted a little bit more crispier i didn't want all that darn sauce on it so i told him to do it very light all that salt and stuff like he did it exactly the way i like it and now let me tell you something those wings were absolutely delicious okay and the french fries were too he did those exactly the way i like it and you know what? i usually don't drink like a kool-aid type drink it was like a fruit punch or something but i got one there and they made it, it wasn't all sugary. You know how you go to some restaurant and they be having so much sugar in that stuff? Uh-uh, this wasn't. It was super, super good. This dude right here, he's a, a brown dude. This dude right here can cook his off, okay? So if you see him online and you go, I don't know if you're in the area or wherever he's at, check his dang on restaurant out. Order his food or however you can get it because it was really good. He sell like waffle fried wings and some other type of 
just different type stuff. But I just wanted the regular stuff. But it was good. I'm not gonna lie. And again, those Oreos, the fried Oreos. I mean, if if it wasn't so, you know, not healthy, I would go get that again. Okay. Him and this other guy that I talked to outside, he has a little restaurant outside. They can cook their butts off. Okay. I mean, they can really, really cook. That's always a plus, y'all. I couldn't believe how good his food was and stuff. So I want to just give him that shout out, even though he don't know I'm giving him a shout out because he's a big YouTuber. I think he's on YouTube too. He's a big Instagram person. Got like oh, a bunch of followers and stuff. You know, he's a real YouTuber and a real Instagrammer and all that and stuff. So I doubt he'll see this. So I'm just going to, I'll tell him when I go back to his restaurant that I put it on my channel and then I'll put it on my, um, YouTube, TikTok, and all that. Don't forget, y'all, check me out on TikTok at Shades Tube. Okay, check me out on there. Sometimes I put my videos up on YouTube as well on the shorts. Check me out there, okay? Otherwise, guys, I don't think I have anything else to talk about. I was trying to think to see before I leave. My butt love this song so much. I play it all the time. Um, so I think I'm getting ready to go because I got to get ready to get out of here. I got a lot of stuff to do besides do the Uber, um, eats. Um, so I think I'm getting ready to go. Y'all have a great remaining weekend, y'all. Another ad. And I think I'm getting ready to get out of here, y'all. People be playing. Why should you do another commercial? But y'all know what I'm finna play. Because I love this song, okay? So anyway, guys, I'm getting ready to go, like I said before, for the hundredth time. I was trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Have a great weekend. Happy, happy, and blessed Thanksgiving. I knew it was something I forgot to say. Thanksgiving, y'all. What y'all cooking for Thanksgiving too? Tell me that down below. I knew it was something. I was trying to figure out what did I forget, all right? Well, I'm going to tell y'all what I'm cooking. I'm going to do turkey. I'm not cooking it. My daughter is cooking it. We're going to do turkey. We're going to do, of course, the dressing. I'm going to do, I'm, I'll help her with the dressing, okay? Because I like my dressing a certain way. Then we're going to do, um, y'all don't laugh. <clears throat> we do broccoli, okay? Broccoli or asparagus, okay? Then we do um, macaroni and cheese. I hate macaroni and cheese, you know, but sometimes I'll eat a little of it. Then we're going to do um, sweet potatoes, but we're going to make them to candy yams. And uh, let's see what else. Dressing, the turkey, the yams, the asparagus, the stuff in it, you know, the dressing, um, macaroni and cheese, cranberry sauce. We're probably going to do a sweet potato pie. I forgot to let my friend make it and get it from him. And... Um, some type of cake. I probably won't do too many desserts because we, we don't need to eat all those desserts, but I'm probably going to do like a cake or either um, some type of pie. I don't like pumpkin pie, but they do. So they may get a pumpkin pie. I'm not going to. She may make one. I'm not going to eat that because I don't like pumpkin pies. You know, but I like sweet potato pie when it's done correctly. You know, when it's cooked right. And then I may do a cake if I have a chance to. But if I don't, we'll do something else okay and that's what we're gonna have for um thanksgiving so don't forget to tell me down below if you want to what you're gonna cook for thanksgiving or tell me some things you're gonna do and what you're gonna do and i may go to the casino on wednesday to see if i can win me some extra money i don't know for sure i wasn't gonna go on thanksgiving but no i'm gonna do it on wednesday and stay at home all day on thanksgiving so i can have a full day at home without going any places i never stay home okay so um that's what i'm probably gonna do and go to the casino we already did the movies and I'm thinking about going to Maestro's, maybe. Because I, I just saw that, that thing on um, movie. I don't know about that. Because I'm going to just tell y'all this. I couldn't have went to that restaurant without having a, something. Because those people were very weird from the get-go. And it was on an island. And it was just a trip. Y'all go see that thing on movie, for real. The menu. Go see it. Okay? Okay, guys. I'm ready to go. Happy and blessed Thanksgiving. Have a good Thanksgiving holiday, and I'll see you hey, in my next video. All right, guys. Thanks to everybody in my chat, my bushes, and whomever watches this stuff later. And I'll see you again. All right. Peace out. Let me get off this video. Push it, boy. I'm going to let that music play a little bit, but I'm not on camera anymore. So take care, y'all.
Y'all, before I go, go check out Lisa Hall's um, channel. She has some good hauls on there and other things, and her husband also, too. So go check her out. Check out her video. Subscribe. Go to the Real Deal Lanita Gill Reaction Channel. She also talks about some very, very good topics, okay? So check them out, okay? Anytime somebody come in my chat and they have their own channel, I'll definitely shout you guys out and tell people to go subscribe because, again, a lot of people will see this once I put it out and stuff and put the um, tags and stuff. Not tags, but the, um, yeah, tags. All right, so I'm getting ready to go.